Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So I'm sorry for not uploading videos since December 2019 and a lot of you are having problem with my bolt and climb system tutorial. So I decided to redo that and this time I will try to explain stuff a little bit better. So as you can see, I have created a third person pro template project and we have our default mannequin guy running around. So let's go inside his character blueprint. And the first thing we want to do is line trace for object. And like before, I'll just use the V key. So the starting position and the ending one, I will just add arrow component and let's take this arrow and place it somewhere around his knee area. So this is gonna be the point at the world location so it's going to be the starting point and get get forward vector so next we're going to multiply this by a float and then add this to our world location and this is going to be the end point now also because we are doing a object with a trace we need to specify an object type so for now i'm just gonna leave it at roll static and also set d vector for duration now let's take first so as you can see when i press my key there is a line coming out of our character and if you go near a wall and trace, it traces the wall. So the next thing we want to do is trace our wall height. Okay, before that, let's add a branch here and break the heat result. And we want the location call it wall location and the wall normal so make sure to promote these two variables first and the next thing we want to do is trace the wall height so to do that we we'll need to trace it from above the wall downwards so the edge gets traced so to do that let's copy this part actually let's first comment this one So now, if we hit something, we will do a high trace. So to do this one, let's first get our wall normal. And from here, we want to make rotation from X. And from here, we want to get the forward vector, not the right one. I get the forward vector and this one and multiply it by a float and when I multiply it by minus 10 and then we want to add that to our wall location so vector plus vector and then add it so now we want to start our tracing from above so 
for the starting point we will go up in the z-axis to 100 units and for our ending point we will go down to 100 units so vector minus vector and now let's check if it's working so as you can see I go near a wall and trace it's tracing the edge of the wall so now let's also like before add a branch so if we hit a wall if we detect a uh, edge we will promote the location and this one is going to be the wall height so if we hit a ledge we will from uh, stored the location and let's comment this one out as well this one is the wall height trace next we want to do two things so let's add a sequence and the first thing I want to do is add a check our wall height so we can do this later as well but I guess it's better to do it like this so the first thing I want to know is take our wall location and take our wall height and from the wall height we will minus our wall location and then spread vector and I'm gonna check if the Z is greater than 60 so if the wall is higher than 60 units we want we will climb up that one and if it's not higher than 60 units then we will vault, vault over it so let's create new variable and this one is going to be called should climb so if our wall is high enough we should climb and if it's not we will set it to false let's comment this one So this one will call wall height check so next one it's gonna be pretty similar to this one let's copy this part here so they can just copy the whole thing and for this we want to change this one to minus 50 and this one is gonna be 300 and 250 and let's also promote this location to variable and this one we'll call uh, back wall height so this is the wall that actually that is in the back so let's comment this one as well back wall height next we want to do two things as well so the first thing we want to do is like before add a branch okay so if we didn't hit anything here so if the, the line let me show you something so over here if we now go ahead and trace you can see there is a second line going down and this one is for checking if our wall is thick enough to just climb up on it so if it's like less thick than this uh, 50 units we will just get up on it and if it's we won't get up and if it's not thick I mean if it's thick then we're going to get up I'm sorry if that's, that got confused but 
I'm not that good on explaining things. So let's first check if our uh, wall height and wall back height is let's minus them first and from here we want to check if it's okay, first let's break the vector I want to check if the Z value is greater than 30 so if it's greater than 30 then uh, we won't climb up on it I mean okay you'll just see what happens here so create a variable and went wall tick and So if it's greater than 30, we will set it to false and if it's not, we will set it to true. If you're not understanding what's happening, just copy this part because I don't think I can explain it that well. So now let's add a comment. This one is going to be well thickness check. And I think we're done. Let's also add another branch here. And if we didn't hit anything, we will set our wall thickness to fall, wall thick to false. And let's add a real node here. So this branch here is going to determine if we need to climb over uh, a wall or we should vault over it. So let's first check if we should climb and let's print string first just to check if our system is working. So this one is going to be called climb. And vault. So next, let's duplicate this one and I'll make it smaller. So let's see what happens. So as you can see, it's in a position for our to vault and when we go near a wall that's actually high enough for climbing it says climb so we know our system is actually working now so this is the part when okay let's do the next part like animation part in the next video and stay tuned for it and please subscribe if you are new to this channel i know it's not the best video on youtube but i'm trying my best here and thanks for watching goodbye